It's interesting to observe that most engine manufacturers and designers made it the wrong way. Welcome back to our Paramotor Geometry classroom. We cover all aspects of Paramotor design and geometry and now we are talking about engines and different options how to build a paramotor engine. Thank you for staying with us. Here behind me is the Vittorazzi Master Plus is the engine that I personally fly, but it's actually a pretty typical concept of the engine. Pretty much all engines in the mid-range, talking about the 180 to 200 cc, have the same concept. So it's a cylinder a bit to the side. We discussed that in one of the previous chapters. Then we have a belt production. We will discuss that in the next chapter. And uh, when you turn the engine to the front side, this is the front side of the engine in, term, in relative to the direction of flight. Around the crankshaft, you have four mounting points. And these are actually wrong. And most of them do it this way. I'm going to explain why. Here we have the dimensions of the favorite Viterati engines. You have the red line indicating the thrust line, the propeller axis. And you see all four mounting points, all uh, these rubber mounts are actually below the thrust line. So, or the thrust line is outside of these four. Now looking from a side, what does it do? Now imagine you apply 75 to 78 kilograms of thrust. That's a lot of power. There's way more than the weight of the engine itself. That's actually the most important and crucial force that you need to take into consideration. Well, it seems like they didn't because if you apply 75 to 78 kilos here, this will be compressed and this is actually stretched. And the whole motor under the thrust kind of leans forward. It changes the position within the cage. And that's my problem to solve as we design uh, paramotors. When we assemble the Scout paramotor, we actually have the prop kind of sticking out a little bit more at the top than at the bottom. So the prop is not perfectly aligned with the cage. And the reason is that when you apply full power, full thrust, the engine kind of squeezes itself into the cage, leans forward, and the prop will get aligned with the cage at full power. But the engine designer can decide where he places the rubber mounts, and it would be just fine to put these two rubber mounts a little higher. But now I understand why they put it here, because up here you only have the plastic airbox. Obviously you can't, put, you can't mount the rubber mounts onto the uh, cheap weak plastic and all the structural parts the elements of that particular engine that you the strong parts that you can lean on are here in the in the center part so this is where they put the engine mounts but don't get me wrong I'm not blaming the Vitorazzi all engine manufacturers in this category with this setup with the belt reduction and about the 180 200 cc engine they have the same system they have the same setup whether it's minari simonini corsair or i don't know whatever brand you take it's not a big deal we just install the engine a little bit tilt it backwards it just generates a lot of questions so here's the answer uh, how about small engines they made it better it's probably just a coincidence here is the vitorazzi atom 80 but again, they are not alone in this category. Also the top 80 or, the, or, or other engines, they, they pretty much use the same concept. So basically here you have a shaft and they build the engine mounts around the shaft symmetrically. And it's just a coincidence that the propeller axis happened to, to be in between the engine mount. So if you apply thrust here, both uh, the thrust will be transferred to both engine mounts. This one obviously a little bit more, so this will be squeezed, uh, compressed a little bit more, but this one gets a little bit of that pressure force as well, although less, so it will be compressed or less. So the engine is not, not moving, not tilting forward. They didn't change anything. The engine mounts are just symmetric around the, the, the crankshaft. It's just the uh, gear reduction 
is just more compact, more sm smaller, so the propeller axis is closer to the crankshaft axis, and that's why the, uh, the prop thrust got in between. But there is one engine manufacturer that did it very well, and that's the Polini. Let's have a look at that. So here we have the Polini, it's the 130, but actually the 190 and the 200 and the 250, they have the same design. So basically looking at the engine from the front, the thrust line is, some, is here, but they just, they just didn't do the shortcut. They didn't build the engine mount symmetric around the crankshaft axis. They placed the two points here, and the top points that are crucial, they point, they place them up here. So when you when you look at it from the side, you see the thrust line is pretty much straight in between the rubber mounts. So, both, so all rubber mounts are kind of loaded equally, and the engine is uh, most most stable. In between, yeah, respect to that, it's a good solution. The reason why others don't do it is because others rely on propeller cooling they need to rotate the motor a little bit further from the uh, propeller axis. So they just don't have anything in here to attach the uh, rubber mounts to. While Polini uses forced cooling, they, they can keep the engine closer here and suddenly they have a rigid structure to put the engine mounts to. So it's not really something to blame, it's just something to know about and accept the disadvantages. I mean, this topic doesn't really help you to choose which engine is better or not. And it will probably help to reduce the questions why at the Scout we installed the propeller in the wrong way. No, it's in the wrong way, it's tilted backwards and it gets back into shape when you apply full power. The next topic will be gear versus belt reduction. We touched this topic a few times in the previous chapter when we discussed cooling. In this chapter when we discussed engine mounts. Now let's explain why some engine manufacturers choose belt and others choose gear. Stay with us, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet and see you soon. Made it the wrong way. It's true. <laughs> Because I constantly get these ask questions, uh, like it looks weird, so someone who doesn't understand. Oh,